All right, come put in pieces here. Again, exposing the truth. Religious beliefs and faith is a mental illness. It's something similar to schizophrenia, especially when a person is educated. We create God, the mind, with the brain. Uh, when a person is ignorant, like we all are when we are born and young, then, and we still believe, and we believe in God and all this, then of course we have an excuse, we're ignorant. But education will remove the psychosis of believing God and imaginary friends. Today with this discovery of uh, uh, producing life, synthetic life, boy, that crush the schizophrenics in Texas, especially the Board of Education, the retarded people that belong in mental institutions, corrupting the mind of people with lies. So, people do not realize that if this man, this man was born atheist, lacking belief, and because he studied and he studied and rejected the fantasies of God and crap like that, he started educating himself. Rejecting, rejecting, believing God and crap. Otherwise, he will never be the scientist he is. And look at that. Discover synthetic life. Brain. Because he maintained atheism. So that should teach people. And we thought this would be a great test bed for learning how to get chromosomes out of yeast and transplant them. When we did these experiments, though, we could get the chromosome out of yeast, but it wouldn't transplant and boot up a cell. Uh, that little issue took the team two years to solve. It turns out the DNA in the bacterial cell was actually methylated, and the methylation protects it from the restriction enzyme uh, from digesting the DNA. So what we found is if we took the chromosome out of yeast and methylated it, we could then transplant it. See, when you're a scientist, like Francis Collins, <laughs> which is a schizophrenic, believing in resurrecting zombies, uh, he was the head of Genome Project. If you're a scientist, you're bombarded, in many cases, with delusions of spiritualism and God and crap like that. If you accept them as reality and you're a scientist, it, it bugs your mind and impedes you, impedes progress. And then you have a problem with the brain like a schizophrenics. If you reject them and reject them and base on information, on everything, then you are really being an atheist, lacking like belief in nonsense and bullshit or religious nonsense, then you, you can actually become a great scientist and progress for humanity, like this man. See? Uh, further advances, Kate. Terms, how significant a breakthrough this is, please. Can we explain how significant this is? I, I, I'm not sure we're the ones that should be explaining how significant it is. It, it's significant to us. That's right. it, 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 perhaps it's a giant philosophical... It's giant uh, religious retards. We actually view it as now, a baby uh, step in terms this is. of... Uh, there is no God. It's 15 years to now to be able to do the We can create, we we create God with the brain. We can create life, uh, synthetic life in a lab. Life what else, what the heck uh, they uh, want? We, what we more proof they want? This is going to be no a God. very powerful set of tools. Uh, only a healthy uh, brain can do it. A mentally healthy brain. To use this Which is an atheist brain. We have... Not infected with faith. Religious and religious crap. Uh, in a program uh, with Novartis to try I wish you would say that. synthetic DNA tools uh, to perhaps make to the, the religious uh, retards with the facts vaccine that you might get life. next year. Because instead of taking weeks to months to make these, uh, Dan's team can now make these in less than 24 hours. So when you see how long it took to get an H1N1 vaccine out, we think we can shorten that process uh, quite substantially. In the vaccine area, so Synthetic Genomics and the, uh, the Institute are forming a new vaccine company because we think these tools can affect vaccines uh, to diseases that haven't been possible to date. Things where the viruses rapidly evolve, such with rhinovirus. That's right. They all evolve. Uh, it'd be nice to have some right there. block common colds. You know. uh, or more importantly, all the last proof of evolution went so quickly. With a virus evolved. Made, uh, today, right there. Stupid Christians don't understand that. Evolutionary changes. 
doing it and we done it. Synthetic genomics. Uh, we've been working uh, on major environmental issues. I think uh, this latest oil spill in the Gulf is a is a reminder. We can't see CO2. We depend on scientific That's measurements right. for it. Exactly. And we see exactly. uh, the beginning results of having too much of it. Uh, but we can see pre-CO2 now floating on the waters and uh, contaminating the beaches in the Gulf. We need some alternatives. We don't uh, see the mental uh, illness of a living guy, but we can uh, say when the Christians are retarded. We know that they are screwed up. And the mice are screwed up with a living guy. We don't see the illness, but we see the effects. We just see where the, the Christians reason and act. Sources. All religious people are crazy. That can go into their refineries. To make normal gas. See the effects of the face psychosis. Those are just a couple of the approaches and directions that we're taking. Yeah. Alex, um, the brain are us. We create God with the brain. It is a fact. You can change your thinking by chemicals and also by, by thousands of cells. People are because they are, they are taught, children are taught all this Christian crap in the United States corrupting and molesting their brains with this garbage like the Texas Board of Education that they all should be committed, morons. Uh, but anyway, the problem is that people don't realize we create thinking, thought with the brain. We have cells, DNA, all that electromagnetism creating all the thoughts. We're in the 21st century. God doesn't exist. We create God. We can create life, synthetic life like the scientists have just done. And uh, come on, let's get rid of this garbage of religious nonsense. It's a psychosis, a schizophrenia, it's like it, it must be cured. People that believe in God, like the Christians and the spiritualists and Muslims and, and uh, uh, other religions, they have a problem with the brain, affecting our world and they're creating intolerance. So we have to get rid of this psychosis of believing God and spiritualism. It's nonsense. Prove God doesn't exist. It's a product of our brain. It's irrelevant. It's a delusion, it's a psychosis. Not needed in the 21st century. Remains the most complex structure on Earth. It is, it is. The, the universe is within. The computers today can't even simulate the nervous system of a fly. Yeah. But like they say, tempus omnia revelat. With time, all is real, we'll be able to reproduce a fly. <laughs> synthetic life now another 20 years 30 years we get rid of the religious psychosis like Christophrenia especially a disgusting mental illness worse than uh, HIV AIDS part of the brain that is corrupting the amount of children uh, after we get rid of these Christian idiots and put them in mental institutions that they belong because they're the worst of all the psychotic the uh, the uh, face psychotic, uh, psychotics are people that believe in God and crap like that. They are the worst of all religions. Christianity is the worst. And if we get rid of those idiots and put them in mental institutions, fix their brains up, and the, the, ones, uh, the ones that are edu uh, educated and the ones that are ignorant, then we can teach them that there is no God. Teach them science, all the children. And then they will grow up with all this dis disease, the mental illness, this, this disgusting uh, uh, you know, brains that they have then the world will be a much better place. Definitely much more tolerant. But to be tolerant, we need to know that God doesn't exist. We create God with the brain. And we are nothing but stardust, as this brilliant scientist explains. came from a star that exploded. And the atoms in your left hand probably came from a different star than your right hand. It really is the most poetic thing I know about physics. You are all stardust. You couldn't be here if stars hadn't exploded because the elements, the carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, iron, all the things that matter for evolution weren't created at the beginning of time. They're created in the nuclear furnaces of stars and the only way they can get into your body is if the stars were kind enough to explode. So forget Jesus. The stars died so that you could be here today. Okay? This is great. Is that these objects, these exploding stars, are great standard candles. We can actually observe them Amazingly, even though only one occurs every hundred years per galaxy, there are enough galaxies that if you put your hand up in the night in, away from L.A. and looked at a dark spot in the sky and made a hole the size of a dime, with a large enough telescope, you could see a hundred thousand galaxies. So, if you're educated, 
and you believe in God, you're a schizophrenic theotard. Pacha de oro.